All right, guys. So uh, we're back out on the road today. Um, we came to do one of our. Uh, we have to we're gonna rekey this building. Basically, it's a giant warehouse, a restaurant supply place. Um, they have interchangeable floors. Some are broken. Drove some of their floors. Messed up some of their floors. And they don't have a core key either. So uh, we're gonna drill out the rest of the cores and then replace them and put them all in and create a whole new master key system for uh, for this customer. So it's gonna be a, a big project. Um, good amount of locks and uh, we'll show you some of the process as we go along. Okay so I'm gonna go ahead and drill this IC core out. It was one of a, of a bunch of them that we have to drill out of the building and then we're going to rekey some uh, new cores, put them all back in with a new core key and then we'll be done here at this project. So let me get started on this lock here. You didn't hear it already, but that was seven pins. Got that one done. Well, I don't want to show you too much how I did that, but took out the shear line for the uh, for the uh, core key basically instead of uh, on a traditional cylinder where you take the uh, shear line out for the cylinder. This one has a shear line that removes the core. All we're trying to do is remove the core, so mission accomplished. All right, so we're driving around back of this building. There's this the complex to walk around, go around the back. each lock so we're gonna go ahead and just take the whole uh, squad around the back of the building here and then start drilling out all the uh, exterior door cylinders uh, one at a time <laughs>
was only a six pin. So basically, I'm just creating me a, a core key and a change key for this building. He just wants one key that's going to work everything. So uh, I just made up some cuts. Uh, we'll cut a core key, and then we're going to cut the uh, key that's going to work all the rest of the locks. We'll put it on the uh, punch machine, cut the original, and then pin up the cylinders, and then go pop them all in, and then we'll be done. Okay, so uh, Josh is here. He's, uh, he just created the control key and the change key is what we call it. It's the key that's going to operate everything. Uh, we would only call it a master key if there was some kind of a master key system, even though a lot of customers refer to it as, oh, I just need a master key at all. And so then you clarify that and say, well, do you want to create a master key system where one key works everything, but you have individual keys for doors, or you just want everything key to one? And no, I just want a master key on everything to one key. Okay. So it's not really a master key at that point. It's just the change key. But um, anyway, we created a control key and created the, uh, the change key. The control key works different from the change. A standard change key will just turn. The control key only goes in. It only turns from from 12 to 1 and that flat pulls in. So there's a separate shear line where these line up which allows that to turn and there's a separate shear line that allows just the bottom to turn and operate the lock. So anyway, pretty much now I'm just going to key up the rest of these cores and then uh, we're just going to go and literally take the control key, pop it in the lock, turn it back, test the working key make sure it works and we're we're good to go so not much more to it uh we appreciate you uh following us along today uh this is another episode of leading from the front and uh if you would follow us on instagram uh facebook twitter uh linkedin we're on every every all of them and if you could also subscribe to our youtube channel hit the like button we'd appreciate the support